When you think of chickpeas, you probably think of this, a can of chickpeas. Or maybe you're one of those people that thinks of this, the dried chickpeas. But very few people get a chance to see what a chickpea looks like straight off the plant. It looks like this. So here it is. It is a singular little pod and it's got a very thin kind of papery shell to it. When you rip this open inside, you will find a single bean. Oh, or I guess in this case, there's actually two. I've actually never seen that. <laughs> or two beans. It's our lucky day. And uh, that is the chickpea. And as you can see, this chickpea is green. It is not the typical beige sort of color. And that's because this is a little bit unripe. They are sold in the pod unripe. I think because when they're like this, you can eat them just like this. If you wait for them to ripen all the way, they get very starchy. So anybody who has ever taken the dry beans and uh, hydrated them and then tried eating one without cooking it, uh, they taste like you know biting into a uncooked potato. It's like very starchy tasting. But what do they taste like raw? They're all right. They taste kind of like, um, a little bit like edamame, and a little bit like green beans. There is a little bit of a starchiness to them, but not that bad. Now, for anyone who's thinking like, hey, wait a minute, this is a weird fruit channel, and that isn't a weird fruit, that's a pea or a bean. Uh, well, actually, the pod is the fruit. This is a fruit. Uh, the pod is not typically eaten, but the pod is the fruit and the seeds on the inside would be the chickpeas. And, you know, since this is a rare opportunity, I will try eating some of the chickpea fruit. Uh, don't do this, by the way. I don't know, like, how edible it is. I think it's probably not going to kill me, but it's just not going to be very good. It's like chewing on a piece of plastic. Yeah, I'm not gonna swallow that because if I swallow that, that's gonna like scratch my throat. It does have a flavor though, and that flavor is like pea pods, you know, like a mild pea pod kind of taste, kind of grassy. And if you get real close, you can actually see there's a little bit of like a peach fuzz on the outside of these. There is a lot that you can do with chickpeas in their pod. I mean, basically you can use them in any kind of recipe that would call for chickpeas, replace it with the green chickpea and it's going to give a different kind of flavor. Uh, in India, for instance, you can actually get green chickpeas in the frozen food section and this goes into curries. You can make kind of like a chana masala, but you can use green chickpeas in it uh, instead to give like a different taste. You could also use this like you'd use edamame or you can use this for anything that would have like more of a green tasting bean, like a pea or a green bean. You can use these peas instead with the shell off, obviously. So I'm gonna try a couple of things. The first thing that I'm going to try is preparing these as if they were edamame. <laughs> You just do it like you would normally do it with uh, regular edamame. Just put a little salt on it. <laughs> this one uh, needs a little help opening. There we go. It's good. It's a little trickier to eat than regular edamame because um, this is so plasticky. 
that when you get to that side that doesn't really want to open, it really doesn't want to open. So it might be something that you might want to like pick open with your fingers first before you go in. What's interesting about the flavor on this is that the main flavor I'm getting is not chickpeas. There's maybe a, a touch of a chickpea flavor there, but it's uh, down the list. First, I think I'm getting edamame, then I'm getting green beans, then I'm getting corn, then I think maybe a touch of chickpea. But uh, it is very similar to eating regular edamame, you know, green soybean sort of flavor, but um, with a little additional something else. It's not exactly like it, but it is really, really tasty. Hmm, that last one that I just ate was a little bit more mature. That one had more of a chickpea taste. That was like chickpea, edamame, green beans, and corn. It's good. Definitely very good. I've got one more idea of what to do with the green chickpeas, so... Um... I like it. In this sort of arrangement where I've got tahini in it and lemon and uh, garlic, it really tastes like regular hummus. But there is um, like a slight green edamame kind of flavor to it. Uh, edamame hummus is a thing. I've had it before and I don't think this tastes like that exactly. This tastes like if you are to take edamame hummus, which tastes like edamame, and you were to mix it with uh, chickpea hummus. The coolest thing about this, though, is it, it's it's green. It's green hummus. Um, and that's that's kind of nifty. Uh, the fact that this is green hummus without putting dye in it or herbs or anything, it's just naturally green. is is kind of cool. Uh, the flavor on it is is good. It's a little bit different, but similar enough where I can't see myself like specifically going out to buy green chickpeas just so I can have that sweet, sweet green hummus. Um, it's not going to happen, but it's a cool thing to have at like a Halloween party or something. So yeah, green chickpeas are a thing. Uh, chickpeas in the pod are a thing, and it was kind of fun to play with these. So I hope you enjoyed watching my adventures with a green chickpea. And if you have the opportunity to pick up green chickpeas, I'd recommend picking them up. It's, uh, it's fun. And I think that's about it. So I will see you all next time. Bye-bye. I would like to give a shout out to Smarter Every Day, Altpod, and the Harbor Leaf Tea Company. They are mega patrons over on Patreon.com. If you haven't heard of it, Patreon.com is... It's how this channel happens. It's how I can afford to keep this YouTube channel going. So if you haven't checked it out, please take a moment to go into the description below and click the link there. Uh, I also have t-shirts for sale over at my web store. A link to that is in the description as well. Thanks so much, guys. Bye-bye.